Whoa, that's some good shit. Oh god. The ball is deflated. Someone's coming. No one will notice. Trevor Jacobs did a backside 360 in the border cross event. I gotta give it up to you. Not only for trying this shit, but for successfully not decapitating anyone with those ridiculous Kessler edges. I mean, the headlines would not have been as G if you had killed someone. Just gotta say. By the way, another tip of my hat to the X Games skiers for getting innovative on their big air maneuvers. Jack Matrani has got it all figured out. He never really had to do that much shit in snowboarding, and now he is the color commentator of the X Games. He talks a big game after his homie Danny Davis wins the pipe about how he's not gonna have such a traditional, boring interview that everyone's so used to on the X Games. Yeah, Jack, hit us with that new new. You get a lot of those interviews that are like the same stale interviews, you know, yes, like, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? But we want to get into the mind of Danny Davis. Right? Well, so, Danny you. Davis, you just won. How happy are you right now? Wait, I'm sorry, what? That, that was, that was your innovative new fucking interview technique? Did you just listen to the sentence that you, okay. Besides getting them X Games dollars, he's also getting them from Skype doing interviews with people from around the world with X Games athletes. I would assume during events like the X Games, average Joes watch it and think to themselves, okay, that level of snowboarding is far beyond what I am capable of. But according to Alan, that is not the case. So if I wanted to be um, a more competitive snowboarder and I wanted to add uh, a new trick, right? I'm working on, a, let's say, a double cork. How do I go about doing that? Do not try the double cork, Alan. Don't do it. It's gonna be bad if you try the double cork, okay, Alan? But if you do wanna try the triple cork, there is a fascinating sports science episode about just that on ESPN. Procession spin. The same kind of spin we see in a wobbly football spiral. Wow, a triple cork being compared to a spiraling football. It makes so much fucking sense. Craig McMorris, you are kind of fucking up by telling everyone that Spencer O'Brien was the first lady to do a back nine in competition. Cheryl Moss did a back nine in the 2011 Euro Winter X Games. A lady did a back nine in your competition. You guys keep fucking records? Does you have like a light board that lights up when someone does a trick so you can just read it and know what to say? Because if you don't, you should. We all know that Sean White did not win the X Games as we had planned. But before watching the X Games, I watched one of the many horrible videos that proceeded to slather Sean White's ball, talking about what he's gonna wear, talking about his hottest moments. Anyway, I saw this clip. He was so sure he would win that he even had shirts made up claiming double gold in slope and pipe. I have literally lost so much sleep laying awake thinking about the number of failed Sean White champion shirts that exist in Africa. Arbor is making some solid moves. And I don't mean that that fucking bamboo that they're putting in their fucking snowboards. I'm talking about, of course, how they just picked up rail rider Frank April and opposite end of the spectrum legend Brian Agucci. Of course, leaving John Jackson, who was just picked up by Signal to say, fuck. But maybe they'll give you an every third Thursday where you make a snowboard out of weed. Remember when dreads were marketable? <laughs> Me too. Now I should have known that Drake was not the only Canadian that had the potential to put out a mixtape that would take over. But I gotta really give it up to the dope kids, the dumb mixtape, for grinding a fucking lift tower wire. I mean, this is literally the dream and thought of everyone who has ever attached a snowboard to their feet. This new blueprint Red Bull series with Pat Moore is quite quite interesting. Now I'm sure that maybe later episodes might contain, you know, more actual snowboarding, but this episode one is pretty hilarious. Because it starts out with basically Pat Moore talking about how much he loves his friends, and then it's his friends talking about how much they love Pat Moore. I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. But the heaviest shit of all time comes when Jeremy Jones enters the video and talks about how he got dropped by Burton. Now Jeremy Jones, you are a legend. We are not denying this. But this shit here, talking about how you have to go hard. You go hard, you know? So I'm going hard. But doing a straight air through a fucking tree, like I've probably done in the last 15 fucking video parts. Dude, you might as well have done it one-footed while you were fucking spinning your board around. 
My family's never really been able to see me do it in the street, and they showed up. If they look at the real snow, and they're like, that shot's not in there from that night that we were there. Like, how am I gonna live with that, you know? Speaking of, I just watched Think Thanks newest teaser, and it looks awesome as fuck. Certainly more awesome than you doing a straight air through a tree, Jeremy Jones. The Trans World Rider Poles is to snowboarding as skater of the year is to skating, and I have reason to believe it is equally as bullshit. Somehow the Yagoons were not even nominated for Video Series of the Year, so I would like to take this time to officially nominate and present the winner of the first annual Haiti Award. Yagoons, you are now 13 episodes old. And just like a young Roman boy, upon entering puberty, you are fit for the world. As a side note to the Trans World Awards, I can assume that the only reason that Gratitude by the Gremlins did not win Video of the Year was because there was some skiing in it. Because Lord knows Lucas Magoon's footage mixed with the fact that Cam Pierce raps his own part was nothing short of a historical event. So with that, I'm out, bitches. <laughs> Ready to bust my gun, I'm rushing in like...